what is going on guys in last video we have added multiple products in each category and displayed all those products under the category in products view page in this video we'll actually design each product item so that we can see the image title price also add to cart button so let's get started with the video so here we have added the text title actual price and the spacer so we'll design this instead of this we'll use a different composable so for that i will go to components and let's create another kotlin file which will product item view will be file composable product item view here now let's pass product product item view also let's pass this item so that we can utilize the data over there this item is product model so here we'll get product which is product model so now you can utilize over here we have to pass modifier as well let's say modifier now here now here we can utilize let's say text product dot category product dot title we have the data and here we can design any way we want let's remove this now let's start designing first i will create a column in that column i'll use the image first so a sync image separate line model will be from product dot images so we have multiple images so for in the each product item we don't want to show multiple images for now let's show first only so you can do first or you can do first or null if no image is there then it won't give an error so let's do first or null so whatever it will so whatever value it has in zero it will get the image so you can use any image but right now i'm using first image so for content description what i will do i will just keep product dot uh, title now if i rerun so here you can see we have three product if you do let's say get second value it will be different image so right now i am using first let's use first or null it will get the first image now if you see instead of using one by one what i will do in one draw i will use two products right now if you go to category product space we are using lazy column so we have in the column if you do lazy row you can see we have the image in the row what i want is two items in a row and then next item so there will be two items in a row and then it will be column so for that i will use lazy column so it will be lazy column but i want to show two products in a row so here what we will do we have to chunk so let's chunk this product list dot value so we can provide the size and we can get those items in a row so those item we can add in a row we were getting only one item now we will get two items so i will call it as row items now we'll get two items at once now we can design any way we want so let's cut this out now we have to give the design for two items because we are getting two items so how we can do we can use row we can for loop the row items dot for each here we will get each item for each row items we can now call product item view so we have to pass the product that will be it and modifier let's say modifier dot weight one floating point so why we are passing weight because we want to give equal space to both of them so this modifier you can utilize over there now if i run now if i run you can see only two items because one item has taken full space so for that what i will do we are passing one floating point for the weight but we are not utilizing it so that's why it is taking full space if you go over here you can utilize this modifier to column modifier equals to modifier whatever we are getting now if i run you can see two items this is taking full space because there is no fourth item so to prevent that what i will do if next row has only one item here if we have two items and it will divide equal space but if we have one only it will take the full space so for that what i will do if row items if row items dot size equals to equal to one instead of taking full space i will add a spacer and i will give that weight to this spacer now if i run one f now if i run you can see it has taken only one space now it is good if you have fourth image it will come over here fifth sixth it will go like that now we can close everything other than this so we will design product item view so we have the image so let's give the size to image so modifier equals to modifier dot let's give height around 120 dp and it will take the full width whatever it gets so you can see now we have got the good height below this i will add a text so what will be the text it will be the title so text is equal to product dot title rerun you can see we have the title we'll design in second thing so let's give font weight as bold let's put it on separate line and design this like so here you can see it has got multiple line because it is a long name so i will give max lines as one if it's overflow then text overflow dot ellipsis so that it will get dot 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 and i will give some padding modifier dot padding around 8 dp now you can see it is taking one line and it is looking good so we'll wrap this in a card first so it is not looking good 
if we wrap this in a card it will look good and it will look elevated so for that i'll cut this column entire column i'll use card and paste it inside the card now for the card we will add the modifier this modifier will go on the card it has to be a parent modifier so that we can get the one space now here also we'll add padding around 8 dp if i run now so you can see we have the card design let's add padding 8 dp run you can design any way you like this is just a simple design so i'll add the shape as rounded corner shape around 12 dp colors card colors card defaults dot card colors i'll give container color as same material theme dot color scheme dot surface i'll give some elevation card default dot card elevation around 8 dp let's increase the phone size now it is started looking good this is also attached to the card so here in the column also i will add modifier i'll give modifier dot padding around 12 dp so that we can have some space around it now it is good now below this we will add the price and add to cart buttons so we have two prices one price is original price one price is actual price so for the prices and cart button i will use a row so that i can add all three items in a row so here what i will do below the text let's make a row and we will add the modifier first modifier equals to modifier dot fill max width first thing second padding will give 8 dp and vertical alignment alignment dot center vertically now here we can add items so first item let's add the price so text will be product dot price run let's see how it looks so this is the price this is not the actual price but this is the price font size let's give uh, 14 sp let's put it on separate lines and we can add dollar euro or whatever the currency you want so for that i will concat over here let's say dollar plus let's give like this so it will look like this now let's copy this text below here i will show the actual price for actual price i will give 16 sp and for the original price what i will do i will use so i will use strike through or line through so style text style in the text decoration we have text decoration dot line through how it will look if you see over here we have this strike through now we'll give some spacer over here spacer modifier dot width 8 dp and font weight of this actual price font weight dot semi bold now you can see it is cut and it is the actual price so it looks like we have some discount now after this i will add a add to cart button so for that i will use icon button so icon button same way we have used over here if you go back you can see we have used this search icon over here same way we will use over here so icon button on click we will do it later here we will use icon put it in separate line image vector will be from icons dot default dot shopping cart or you can add in drawable and you can import it from there i'll just use the default shopping cart content description let's say cart or add to cart run you can see we have this icon beautiful looking but we have to move it to extreme right so for that i will give a spacer in between text and this so that it can take all available space modify dot weight one it will take all available space whatever it is getting one f so it will go to extreme right we have padding over here that's why it is not visible but it is on extreme right if, if you remove this as well you can see it will be always on the right so that's good now if i go back click on fashion you can see this is also working this is looking good for electronics we have three items so you can add multiple items over here so for now what i will do i'll go to category products phase how it will look if we have multiple items so in the result list whenever we are getting the data from fire store i will just append plus result list plus result list it will add three items again and again if i run now just for the testing purpose if you go to electronics you can see we have added three times so it will look like this if you have multiple products if you want to make it like three in a row you can do like this can see you have to design the product item view in such a way so that we can utilize the good space for now two is fine so in this way it will look let's remove everything so it should be the result list only so we have separated product item view you can design this any way you want you want to change the color of add to cart you want to make it big you want to make it red you want to make the title multiple lines let's say max line equals to two so it will be two lines you can see over here it will also look good you can reduce the image size let's say 100 dp like this 
so that's all for this video so in next video what we'll do whenever we click on any products over here we'll go to new page and it will show all the details of that product multiple images we have title we have description we will show all the details in that page we can add multiple fields over here and we can show in that page so that we will design in next video so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye